Hello and welcome to the Tarot Tips. I'm Jean Fiorini and we have had several people ask if we could discuss a little bit more in depth about how to work with relationship questions. Um, it's important to remember with relationships that it, we can be talking about not just a love relationship but a relationship with any person, place, or thing. Relationship to my neighbor relationship to my child, uh, what's going on between me and my neighbor, uh, anything like that. You could ask, um, what's the relationship between me and my house or the city that I live in, okay? Relationship to any other person, place, or thing that has relevance to you. Okay, that relevance to you is an important aspect of relationship questions. Uh, it's inappropriate to ask questions about any relationship that doesn't directly impact you or have anything to do with you. In other words, it's not uh, appropriate to ask what's going on with my former husband and his new girlfriend, or what's going on with my child and her friends. Okay, that, that's um, invasion of privacy. Uh, if it doesn't directly impact you or have anything to do with you. I'll point you first of all to um, when we talk about relationships what I think is the best way to begin looking at a relationship and that's going to be talked about in video tarot tip number 78. Here's where uh, a very simple layout or method really which uh, the beauty of it is you don't even have to ask a question. It's just looking at relationship dynamics. Um, and, you know, that can be uh, quite informative, give you lots of good information about what's going on with a relationship. But I'm going to offer up in this video some specific questions that might help you fine tune and understand what's going on in a relationship, any relationship, and your part in it. Um, let me just say that it's important to remember to phrase your questions in a way that empower you and that don't ask questions that will be a yes or no response. Things like, will this relationship last? Um, is this person in love with me? Yes or no questions, you're kind of looking for trouble. Not not only in the implication that something is written in stone, but in the, with the implication that things are really that simple, yes or no. Sometimes it's a, well, if this, this, and this happens, then this could work, but if this and this happen, it probably isn't going to work. So, yes or no, not always the best uh, way to approach any question, but I think in relationship, it's even uh, relationship issues. It's even more crucial to make it about you, make it about what control you have over the situation, and about uh, uh, your needs, your part in uh, whatever connection we're talking about. So here I'm going to give you some kind of ex uh, ex ways to expand thinking about your relationship um, dynamics. Um, a helpful way, and you can do this either on its own or in conjunction after you've done the exercise in video number 78, the relationship method. Um, what is it that I need to know? Not necessarily what's going to happen, not necessarily what should I do or don't do, but what is the thing I need to know? So I'm just going to pull some random cards as examples as I give you these questions and we can talk about what they might mean. So we're going to assume that we've already done a relationship uh, four card, two cards for you, two cards for the other person. What do I need to know about this relationship? I got the moon card. So the moon card could indicate there's a lot that we don't know yet about this relationship, that there are things unspoken, there are things beneath the surface. Um, the moon card is a card of enigma, of confusing emotions, uh, some 
uh, maybe running hot and cold going on. So uh, this can give some insight. What do I need to know about this relationship? Moon card, for example, would indicate, mm, give it some time and see what else comes to the surface. Another open-ended question that can help guide you in a relationship, what can help me? What can help me either resolve this relationship or get what I want out of it or um, work better with this person or situation? What can help me? Hermit card. It's interesting the moon and the hermit cape card came up because the moon card is card 18 of the majors. One and eight is nine, which is the hermit card. Uh, what can help me if the answer is the hermit? It's like, it doesn't say stick yourself in a closet and don't come out. It's more like follow your own guidance. Listen to what your heart and your head tell you. Be a strong individual in this situation. Uh, listen to your own counsel. Have enough space to be able to do your own thing. The hermit is decidedly... Uh, not enmeshed. Doesn't mean it can't have a beautiful, positive relationship, but this does require uh, time by itself and self-care. Uh, let's see. What does the other person, place, or situation want or need from me? Is another very interesting question. Now you can decide whether or not you want to give that or not, depending on what the card is. But finding out or taking a look at what the other person might need from you um, can uh, narrow down your options for best possible approach. So uh, what does person X need from me? Knight of Wands. Uh, they, in this case, it would be, okay, this person needs my enthusiasm needs my free willing spirit, needs uh, my sense of joy and play and creativity, spontaneity, maybe. Maybe this my, someone who I'm in a relationship with, maybe they need a little push towards something. Okay? So see how, how you phrase your question this is going to determine how you interpret your card. This is one of those basic principles of working with the tarot, but it really comes to the fore when we're talking about relationship issues. Now, this isn't a um, uh, uh, what's going to happen kind of question. Will this relationship last? I like to, if somebody is concerned about what is coming in a relationship, I like to put a specific time frame on it, normally not more than two or three months. So what can I expect in the next few months around this relationship? And here I might draw two cards just to see if there's a ambiguity if, or if there's a consistency or whatever. So what, could, what might I expect from this relationship? Ooh, Ace of Cups, Knight of Swords. Ace of Cups, new emotional openings, new ways to talk about our feelings, and then talking about, we get the communicator card with the Knight of Swords. So this is a nice combination about working a relationship, um, taking some uh, new emotional realities into consideration, and um, uh, talking about what that might mean for each of, each of you. So what can I expect? I would say with, with this combination, we can expect um, a, a lively time of uh, trying to balance the heart, which is the cups, and the mind, and well, how we're gonna get that to work, the head, with this uh, Knight of Swords. What is the lesson in this relationship? Always can be a challenging uh, an interesting thing to look at. What is my lesson? What is the thing I need to learn in this particular uh, experience, in this particular relationship? Death card. Okay, so there's something I need to let go of. 
an old habit. So we're not going to have this be about the other person. We're going to say, what does this say about me? What is my lesson? It might be totally different for the other person. My lesson would be about letting go maybe of old hurts, of um, any sort of past relationship that I might be clinging to. Maybe it was what I considered to be the love of my life and they've gone or they've left. I need, you know, if this card comes up, I need to get over that. I need to move on. I not, not, not erase that from my heart, but it's time to move on. So there's something, you know, if the lesson for me is the death card in a relationship, it's what outworn way of thinking of myself in a relationship is ready to morph into something new. Okay, so let's see. Well, I think I had one more. How do I take care of myself in a relationship? I think if there's any really important question, this is it. How do I take care of myself? How do I... Uh, honor my own wants and needs so that I can be the best partner for myself and for whatever situation I'm in. How do I take care of myself? I'm also going to pull two cards for that one. And we will get the Hierophant with the Page of Wands. Um, the Hierophant would mean to seek out guidance. Maybe I need some therapy. <laughs> around some new aspect of relationship. Maybe I um, need to make sure that I uh, get a massage or uh, take care of my physical health. The, the Hierophant can be the counselor, the, the teacher, the mentor. It could be somebody who's in the medical field, somebody who's in the wellness field. Um, this is a card of leadership, so I might need some guidance and leadership around new things, page of wands, new things that are coming up for me. Um, this relationship, new relationship, uh, if we remember the question, how do I take care of myself? There might be some new energies, page of wands, that I'm really not sure what to do with. How do I take care of myself? Ask for help if you need it. Um, seek out guidance if, if you run into a situation that you've never had before, whatever that might be. Um, see how other people have dealt with it. Now this idea about f f how you frame your question uh, gives you a, a structure for how to interpret your cards certainly can be used for any kind of question that you might have. But when it comes to relationship, it, it is important to phrase your question really clearly. Avoid the yes or no. Um, look for what the other might need from you, but also remember that it's not selfish, but it's important to always take care of yourself first because that's how you're going to get the most authentic relationship with any person, place, or thing that you have in your life. I hope that's helpful and maybe interesting. We'll see you next time where we're going to um, use this idea about asking various questions around another part of life.